So what does a day as a full-time reseller look like? Well, this is my take on it. On days where I'm not getting up for a boot sale, generally speaking, I'll get up at around about eight o'clock and first job of the day is make my bed. This sounds like an oversimplification, but if you make your bed every morning, that's one task completed. You're already winning. That one simple task can get you in the right mindset to achieve for the day. Obviously a quick brew, standard, and then it's time to get to it. I do my picking and packing on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. Today is Friday, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna head up and look up, pick some orders, see what's going on today. For those of you that are not familiar with my setup, this is it. I have two storage containers. This is the one where I keep the vast majority of my stock in. It's a pretty simple stocking system, really. I've given each set of racking a number, starting from number one, each shelf a letter, and each bin a number. So this is racking one, shelf C, bin one. And that's how I find my orders. These are sales that I've made since Wednesday morning when I did my last lot of picking. There's 18 in total. First location, an All Saints hoodie. So when I do my listings in the first place, in the SKU field of the listing, I'll put the stock location. So this is in 4D1. That's racking four, shelf D, bin one. I listed it on the 24th of January this year and it costs four pound. 4D1. The cost four pound and that I sold. I've got a sale on at the minute, fifteen percent off uh, for sixteen pound fourteen plus postage. Next, a bluey set. When I was a kid, bluey meant something completely different, but now it's a kids' TV program. I got a load of these on uh, retail arbitrage. I think they're from Tesco. I think I got three or four of them. Uh, cost price was twenty pound, and this is sold for thirty nine ninety, including the postage. Sometimes with new items, I'll include the postage just to appear to be competitive to other listings. Not so many of these left now. I picked up an absolute load of these, the six packs and the three packs from Tesco's on clearance. Not massive margin in them but they're flying out at a rate of knots what i have done as well I've, I've sold all the six packs but i refreshed the listing and just mentioned in the listing that you won't necessarily get a box of six you might get two boxes of three double bubble sale now 7d got a load of plates There's a couple more over there actually uh, got a load of plates a family member is having a clear out uh, you may well remember the video on the ornaments actually that i sold that, that were called oh it escapes me the name of them now but a load of them and there were were really really high value with relatively speaking some of those ornaments went for over a hundred pound these plates are not really as desirable but one person has bought two so we're looking for a tea party tea party tea party, tea party. and also patience 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 it's taking me the longest time to find the patience one i think it might be this one i can't see the ah there we are patience smashing very handily they're already boxed in uh, pretty sturdy safe boxes for plates so i'll just chuck a bit extra packing around those and send them together for c1 these are ski salopets salopets are basically dungarees i don't know what salopets means i think it's a french word yeah but salopets sold, sold loads of them particularly during the winter but even during the summer months cost price is four pound and they're going up for 16.99 plus postage this is an item that i bought 1d2 uh from a reseller that was having a clear out of all his stock been hanging around for a bit but it doesn't stand me very much at all women's coca-cola hoodie so the cost value i put three pound on it i think for everything i bought off him i paid about 200 pound cost price i've put on this is three pound and it's going up for 12.99 plus postage okay little bit of a story with these i'm actually probably making a little bit a little bit of a loss on these uh just recently i've really upped my game on amazon and i needed to get ungated in the barbie brand apologies if this is gonna sound like gobbledygook for people who are not familiar with amazon certain brands you're not permitted to sell on amazon unless you get ungated basically it's permission to sell that brand and the way to do that is to buy at least 10 of a particular brand from a wholesaler to get a wholesale invoice and then you could submit that invoice to amazon as proof that you're legitimate after you've done that you can buy them from anywhere so it's a little bit silly but hey that's how amazon operates so essentially that's what i've done with these i bought 10 of these 
to get that invoice from the wholesaler. I'm now on Gated in Barbie Brand. I can sell at Barbie Brand on Amazon to my heart's content. But obviously, I don't want these hanging around. I've no use for them. They won't fit me. So cost price on them was about four pound i think and i've sold that for 6.39 including the postage it will go as a large letter so with any luck in a trail wind i'll have broken even on it 1a1 now this is completely breaking character completely breaking character for me i was in a charity shop at the beginning of the week and i saw these boots they had them up for 25 pounds they're motorcycle boots leather motorcycle boots they look in really mint condition and obviously they've sold very very quickly but the story behind it is the charity shop had them up for 25 pounds but i've been into that charity shop a load of times over the last year and these boots have been on the shelf for i would say upwards of eight months say and i stress this is really uncharacteristic for me when i was at the counter got chatting about these boots and i just cheekily said listen i know you've had them for a while uh would you take a tenner for them and they said yeah it's extremely rare in fact i think that may be the only time i've ever underbid for an item in a charity shop and i won't be making a habit of it because i don't, just don't think it's cricket generally next two a two some very floral rocket dog shoes two a two right on the top Incidentally, those boots sold for $28.99, including the postage. And these Rocket Dog shoes paid £4 for them, and they're going out $14.99 plus post. I've had these a while. Airwalk. I mistakenly thought there was something else when I picked them up, and uh, th there's not much in these at all. 1A1 again. Airwalk trainers. I think they're pretty nice skate type shoes really but you've got to check comps and uh, comps would have told me that these don't sell very fast and when they do they don't sell for very much so cost price four pound and as part of the sale i've got another minute they're going out for 12.74 plus post some more of these now this was a fast seller i picked this up from auction i won it on monday picked it up on tuesday this is like it is what it is it's, it's a 14 inch crt tv uh, the dvd draw on it doesn't work at all which obviously i mentioned in the listing it's got a really cool lightsaber type remote as well which is with it uh, aside from the dvd bit it all tests and works perfectly well and it was listed for 24 hours i think so including the fees at auction i paid 26 pound 50 maybe 26.60 something like that and it sold for 99.99 plus postage i have actually packed this inside the box within a, an inch of its life the buyer has also said that they want to keep the box to display and i'll be perfectly honest with you a bit nervous about sending it with a courier it's not so far from me though it's only about half an hour away so i'm going to drop it off early next week give them a bit of customer service and obviously hit a couple of charity shops while i'm down that way samuel windsor shoes gotta love some samuel windsor shoes uh these were sold on offer i think i originally had them listed for 23.99 cost price was a fiver and they've sold for 21.50 plus postage 4b3 and they're on top as well yep not so many of these left now i must have had a couple of hundred of these this the in fact three different variations and a different fabric care kit this is so followed your gear so two different types of fabric care kit and a leather care kit all the leather have sold i must have had about 100 and odd of those all of the uh, the newer fabric kits have sold and these ones we've got off now 15 19 one to sold today a selling steady away cost price on these was three pound and it's going out again as part of the sale 1359 plus postage i did have the opportunity to buy more of those as well and i'm kicking myself that i didn't now because they've been really really steady sellers these because of these are the older kits the, there's less margin in these i was getting 20 pound for the newer fabric kits and the newer leather kits uh, but obviously these are older versions and they're still selling really well a brand i wasn't even familiar with before i looked at them i thought oh they look nice i'll check comp Valentino Garavani women's trainers. Ah, there we are. 
obviously designer trainers took an offer on these as well i think i originally listed them for about 59 pound i want to say and they've sold for 49.29 plus postage and they're going to norway by the looks of it and more shoes barbie's doing well for shoes this week part of some retail arbitrage i've just i've done just recently i picked these up initially to send into amazon but amazon is a nightmare to sell the uh, uh, lol brand so i've listed them on ebay instead cost price was nine pound i think i've only had them a week if that and it's going out for 21.50 did i include the postage yeah 20 21.50 including the postage they were from home bargains and that's everything picked let's get everything home and package it up all right let's get some packing done always be putting a thank you card in all my orders it really does help with uh, getting feedback off people definitely definitely my favorite reselling tool for packing another top tip packaging foam this is the kind of stuff that washing machines dishwashers that kind of stuff is packed in it's much easier to cut than polystyrene and makes much less mess definitely worthwhile hitting up if you've got any local white goods suppliers you can nip in stuff like this they have to pay to have it disposed of so they're more than happy to give it away for free a few moments later okay that is that lot done off to the post office now and perhaps a bit of lunch while we're out there i hope you've enjoyed this little excursion away from the boot sale videos i normally do if you have give it a thumbs up really helps the channel and of course you savvy people will already have subscribed because you're wonderful if you haven't hit the subscribe button for more of my content thanks very much for watching guys i've been dave keith you've been amazing see you soon Hammer production.